everyone, welcome back. Happy almost St. Patrick's Day. I cannot believe it's already almost St. Patrick's Day. There is such a small gap between Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day, and this is my first year decorating for St. Patrick's Day, so I'm super excited. I bought a ton of stuff. All my stuff is mostly from Christmas Tree Shop and the Dollar Tree. I love those stores. They are great finds for decorations. My goodness, though, Christmas Tree Shop had so much stuff. It was amazing. It was almost overwhelming. I'll show you guys everything I got and where I'm going to put it in my house. a few things for St. Patrick's Day, but look, there's more here. I can't resist. I might have to get some. Wait, stop. They have string lights. These are so cute. Six dollars. I have to get these. So here is what I got from Christmas Tree Shop. Such good finds. Oh my gosh, they had a huge section of stuff. So first I found this banner. It's a Happy St. Patrick's Day banner. So I'm going to put that on the fireplace. $5.99. Then I found these really cute shamrock lights I thought I could put up in my mini living room, $5.99 as well. And then of course I had to get some stand-up ones, so I got a Happy St. Patrick's Day and a welcome sign. This one was $4.99 and this one was $2.99. And then I got this cute other welcome sign. I love these kind. I think I have one for every holiday now. I love these. This one was $3.99. And then, of course, I got some table scatters. These are always super cute and easy, $1.29. I like to add these on the mantle or under the TV, around the floating candle I have. Then I got this Home Sweet Home sign. This one was $1.99, super good. Then I found some more uh, of these stand-up ones. This one says Lucky, and it was $2.99. This one I thought was super cute, too, $1.49, to bring out a little bit more white colors. And then this... How cute is this? They're little gnomes, $5.99. I couldn't resist. And then there's this cute little dish, $1.99, that I thought I could put some candies. There's like some of these, a candle. Not sure yet, but I always buy everything with a spot. Like I picture in my head where I'm going to put it before I buy it. So I don't just have random miscellaneous things I don't know what to do with. So these were all from the Christmas tree shop. And then I got some stuff from the dollar store as well. Okay, so here's everything that I got from the dollar store. I'm really bummed because I don't know what happened. I had these stored away for St. Patrick's Day and this broke. So that's a bummer. I'm going to have to go get another one of those if they have one, hopefully. But I got two of these garlands with the little gold clovers, shamrocks, whatever they're called. So that I'm going to put on the mantle. And then I got these shamrock picks to put inside the mantle as well. And then I got these pieces of gold and clovers just to add, I don't know, maybe underneath the TV, maybe in that little ceramic dish I had before. And then I got these cute towels. I really like how simple these are. Uh, just the clovers with white is really cute for the kitchen. And then I got this cute little hanging sign too I'm going to put somewhere. And I saw this. I thought it was just kind of cute maybe to put on the mantle. I don't know yet. But obviously all of these were a dollar. I got this little sign, a truckload of luck. How cute is that? And then I got this cute little thing hat. Happy St. Patrick's Day in the little feet. Super cute. But yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't had any St. Patrick's Day decor yet, and this is my first haul, so I went a little bit overboard to catch up. Okay, I want to pause and show you guys this trick that I found now that you've seen all of my decorations. So a lot of the decorations I got have sparkles on it and I am not a big fan of sparkles because they get everywhere and honestly all of the decorations that were available had sparkles so I had to get some but I was trying to think of something to not have it get everywhere and I found that if I add a little bit of hairspray it stays a little bit better so I just give it a little, like quick little spritz and that seems to help a little bit maybe that will help for you guys but I just am gonna give all of my sparkly things a little bit of a spritz because some of the decorations I hang on the door and every time you open and close the door I don't want the sparkles falling on the floor and <laughs> I'm sure your husbands or significant others will appreciate this as well all right time to start taking down Valentine's decorations Okay, I'm 
going to start with this room first. So this is our mini living room, the room that uh, we mostly host in. Don't mind this giant speaker here. Uh, but so this is the room that I'm going to start with first, our mini living room. If you've, if you've watched my other decor videos and then I'll go into this room. This is the entryway where we walk in and then this is the door to the main living room. I just cleaned this whole uh, TV stand because it was a little dusty so I always like to clean it in between decorating it. Right, the first thing I think I'm going to add is this welcome sign. I like to put this right here and then when you walk in it's one of the first things you see. Um, also don't mind these we taped off the windows uh, for the winter because it gets really cold in this room so that's what that is. This one I think I'm going to add above the couch because it's big enough. I like to put something that's big enough to fill this wall because it's a really big space. I think this will be pretty cute. Here we go, three happy little gnomes. Okay, I'm still playing around with things, but I think I'm going to add this here. Uh, I like to keep this area simple just because we often use it, and I want to make sure that we can still uh, put stuff down on things and it be functional. So I got these, I have these little table scatters I'm going to add around this uh, piece of glass, or this mirror with the little floating candle in it. It looks so cute and festive. These little things are so cheap and so easy, and they add just a little bit of holiday spirit, which I really like. So I would definitely recommend getting these. Okay, now I am going to decorate the TV stand. I have this uh, candle from Valentine's Day. I might do something with this. I don't know yet. But I'm at least going to add this around. And I think, again, I need another one. I don't know why I didn't buy two. But I'll probably get another one. But I'm going to at least add this for right now. Okay, so I definitely need another one of those. But I'm going to add the rest of these in. This little storage unit. I added this little sign here and then I'm just going to put the rest of these on here and kind of arrange it. They kind of look like flowers more than clovers but you know you get the point. There. That's super cute. Then these kind of just help it not look so plain but that looks cute and simple. Okay so this is the door that we mainly use. So I'm going to add this little home sweet home sign there because it will fit just barely in this little square. If I hang it from here it doesn't see it like dangles below so I'm going to hang it from up here. Okay there it just barely fits. It looks so cute. I love that. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and start taking down the Valentine's Day decorations off of the mantle. I am going to keep these lights. I'm going to wrap them in the tinsel for St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh. Good thing I wiped that down. I mean, I always do, but there's so many sparkles. So that's another reason I like to wipe it down. All right, so I got my St. Patrick's Day tinsel here. Gotta have the tinsel. I got two of them because this mantle is pretty large, so I'm gonna add these on next. I like that they have the little three leaf clovers though, it's super cute. And that they're gold, so they stand out from the green. Now I'm gonna add in these little three leaf clover picks. I always like to add in some picks just to give it a little bit more something. Also, if these are too long, sometimes I like to cut them right here and just stick them in so that they're facing up because sometimes sliding them in makes them lay down like this. So you can also cut them if that works for you too. Okay, I kind of forgot about this and I should have did it first, but I'm going to hang the uh, banner, of course. I haven't seen it opened yet, so hopefully this looks good. What in the contraption is this? Oh, it's tied at the end. What in the... Oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> that was confusing. Okay, I actually like this better than I thought. So it came attached right here, if you can see. So it came in this little loop, which I was confused at first because I was like, great, I'm gonna have to untie these. But good thing I didn't because they have already strung them so that they're the perfect height apart from each other and you don't have to string two sets up individually. So I really actually like that. It came out really cute. It says happy St. Patrick's Day and I didn't have to like measure it, I just taped the other side over here too, and then covered it up with the tinsel, but I absolutely love it.
Okay, now I think I'm gonna add a little uh, sign right here. I like to put something in the middle. So I'm gonna pick one of those next. So I decided to add this little welcome sign here because I have a few other welcome signs I can put in the mini living room. And I like the wood look that brings it out and the white that matches the mantle. So I really like that. I think it came out really good. Okay, so here is the final product. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. All right, and then on this side table, I'm gonna add this little one. It says Lucky, that looks nice. Okay, now that this has dried the hairspray on it, I'm gonna add this to our actual front door. And we don't use this door a lot, but just really for when we have takeout or uh, things get, uh, packages get delivered. Hopefully the glitter won't come off, but I did spray it with hairspray, but I really like that. How cute is that? The little leprechaun diving into a pot of gold, classic. Okay, and then I always like to put something above the kitchen, above this space here, and I have that wreath, and I don't have a St. Patrick's Day wreath, so I think I'm gonna add this little guy up there, and hopefully no sparkles will be on us. All right, I put that little guy up there, but I'm not sure how I feel about it because it hangs down, so I think I might get something else if I can find anything. All right, in the kitchen I like to add a little bit too, don't mind this, I'm, I just cleaned the stove and those and the little burner things are in the dishwasher. Anyways, I got these little towels I just showed you. Just a little bit of green in the kitchen. Don't mind these, these are all of our eggs from our chickens actually. Then overlooking our backyard just above the sink, I added this little sign, truckload of luck. Okay, so I just picked up a few more things from Dollar Tree. I got another garland for here. I'm glad that they had more. Oh, I got two, right, I'm gonna put one upstairs around the banister like I did for Valentine's Day and Christmas. And then I got these little coins which I thought were a good idea to put in this uh, little dish. And maybe a few here as well would be cute. So I got these and they even had little plastic pots that you could put the pieces of gold in. But they came in a batch of five and I would only maybe use one or two. So I think I'm just gonna put these in the dish like I said instead. And then I got this to go on that door because it's soft so it won't clank when we're opening and closing the door. I'm gonna put this over the kitchen in that space that I had said before instead and move the other piece. And they didn't have any more of those signs that broke so I got this instead which is super cute that I'll put right here instead. All right, I'm just gonna hairspray these because they're already getting all over me. Okay, I just finished adding the coins to the little dish and adding the second garland. And then I had a few extra of the coins, so I added them around here, which I think came out pretty cute. And then I had even more, so I added them a few over here. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but we'll see. But that's what it's looking like for now. But yeah, it definitely looks a lot more full with two. And then I have the little candle here, which obviously I won't light, but it looks cute. <laughs> okay, and then the last piece in this room is the little shamrock or clover. Here we go. Looks good. Okay, I forgot that I had this little guy and because it's sparkly I of course hair sprayed it but I want to put it somewhere that it's not going to get messed around so I added it to the TV stand. So it's not too boring but not too much. Now I'm trying to figure out where I want to put these lights. I'm kind of thinking around here to bring out the green because they're not very long so I obviously don't want to look random but maybe around the little gnomes would be cute. Okay, you guys, I did it. Look how cute this looks. I think it means just the right amount. Hi, Riley. What are you doing? <laughs> I think it brings a little bit more green and it makes that space not look as plain, but I actually really love how this turned out. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. Wait, let me shut off the light and see what it looks like too. Ooh, so cute. And then I have these string lights too. All right, so I keep these in here year round. But then I have these. The, and these, so twinkly, I love it. I love it, I love it. All right, so I ended up adding this here instead. This is just right off the kitchen, right next to the fridge, but um, going up to the stairway, I've never put anything here before, but it didn't fit above the kitchen, so I decided to hang a little command hook right there and add it. This 
is how it turned out just on the second floor just a little just a little bit of green that is all of my st patrick's day decor i hope that you love it i am not irish personally but i love decorating for any holiday and it just brings some extra happiness to the house i think anyways let me know what you guys have done for st patrick's day and if you've decorated already if you like this video give it a thumbs up that helps me out so much and feel free to leave a comment down below and say hi and i'll see you guys in my next video bye